Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be ranking all of my highlighters. So like individually packaged highlighters and highlighter palettes, I have about 30 of them. So probably gonna be a bit of a longer video, but I, I love highlighters, and I didn't really realize until like recently that out of all of like my base and face products, other than eyeshadow, this is the biggest section of my collection for my face products, so... I don't know what it is about highlighters. I've always really loved highlighters. I guess because I got into YouTube during like the big highlighter craze. But I've always thought they were mostly, they're mostly just really affordable, really fun ways to add oomph to like any look that you do. And it is something that you can wear daily. So that's me justifying why I have so many, but I do love highlighters and we're gonna do the same thing I've done with the rest of my ranking videos so far. Rank from the bottom all the way to my favorites. So I'm not gonna say I'm gonna swatch every single one of these because we would literally be here for hours if I did that, but it, I'll, I'll try to swatch a couple of my favorites further on the list. But let's start from the bottom. So my least favorite highlighter that I have here, I got, I believe this is in a Try Beauty box or another subscription box, and this is from Iconic Beauty. It's a glow stick, so it's like a stick cream highlighter. This looks great on uh, like no makeup makeup if I'm just not wearing anything, but I don't have any like cream highlighters. I'm not a, really a fan of cream highlighters. I've been getting more into like cream blushes and like cream contours and everything, but cream highlighter which is never something I could really get behind, and this is the closest that I have to it right now, just this glow sticks. Yeah, it looks, you really can't even see it on my hand, it just, it, yeah, it's just like okay. <laughs> and I kept it because it was in a subscription box and I was like, oh, I should give it a chance, I should try it some more and just... I haven't. <laughs> Alright, next I have a highlighter from MAC, and I have to say, unfortunately, with MAC products, I found that a few of their products are really good, mainly like their foundations, and I think their blushes are also really good, but I think their highlighters are a bit overhyped. This was a limited edition highlighter that came back, and like everyone that I watched on YouTube was hyped that this highlighter came back in stock, because it was like a limited edition and apparently it had gone out of stock years ago and no one was able to get it anymore. This is in Whisper of Guilt, and it's, I mean, it's a pretty highlighter. It's very golden, but like, do I ever use this? No. And I definitely got this because of the hype. I think even Taylor Wynn talked about this highlighter, like, when it came out, and I was like, I want that highlighter and it's it's just like it's just like okay it's way it was way too expensive for what it is and just yeah i don't know why i still have it <laughs> next i have this highlighter from makeup geek now i i'm pretty sure i also got this in a subscription box and this is a duochrome highlighter in celestial and it's down this far because i don't really use it that much and i don't really like i haven't really been supporting makeup geek I've, I've, a while ago actually, a bunch of stuff came out about Marlena and I don't like the way she keeps like ins inserting herself in drama where it's not really needed. And overall, back when I was cutting the toxic people out of my support system, Marlena was one of them. So I haven't really been buying anything from Makeup Geek and I got this in a subscription box and it's just like an okay highlighter. Yeah, it's a bit, I hate to say it, but it's kind of dull. And when I wear it, it's very obvious I'm wearing it. So this isn't something even I can wear now where I have work, um, like video calls. You can tell this is on. So this is more of a uh, an avant-garde kind of product, not something I can wear every day. <sighs> yeah, so and it's just like, yeah, yeah. Next, we have a product that uh, I think was overpriced and I bought mainly because of the packaging. It's this bad boy. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Diamond Fire Highlight. It's the original one. So back when this first came out, this was the only one available. It was like this bright white-ish kind of highlighter. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I overpaid for it. It's not worth the amount of money that it cost. It's just an okay highlighter. The packaging's adorable though. Like that's probably, that's really the only reason why I bought it. It's not a great highlighter and it's like 30 something dollars. No way was it worth that much. I actually almost chose this to be my next highlighter that I was going to use up in my HP Project Pan because I did finish the Fenty highlight that I was using there. But then I realized I really wanted to focus on, um, the Becca highlight that is coming up further on this list because I actually really like that highlight. <laughs> but um, I almost brought this in, but then I realized, eh, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm just kind of like, eh. again, it's just like a meh 
but I love the packaging. It's, oh, I hate that I bought this just for the packaging. <laughs> All right, next we have a Becca highlight that is mainly this far down because I think it's just too dark for my complexion. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I'm pretty sure I got this in a um, subscription box a while ago, and it's just a little too dark for me. I can use it with a really light hand, but how, I mean, how often am I reaching for this? I can't remember the last time I reached for this. So anyway, I do love the Becca packaging. I think this is just so crisp and clean and gorgeous. I have some of their other like minis that are coming up. And then of course the Royal Glow highlight, which I'm going to talk about later on this list. Spoiler alert, it's one of my favorites. I, I love the packaging. I love the formula, but like this shade just doesn't work for me. So I probably should like sell this or declutter it because I'm not going to use all of this because it's just too dark. Next we have a highlight that um, I've depotted because it was in a palette that I got. This was the Balms Mary Lou Luminizer. And this was another YouTube hyped highlighter that I got just because of the hype and everyone was talking about it. It's just like an okay highlight, honestly. It's just, it's like a very basic highlight that honestly it's not much to write home about. I have plenty of other highlights on this list that I love and I will go to bat for. I'm glad I tried Mary Luminizer so this way I have my own experience with it and I can tell you about it. But it's just like another, we're still in the meh highlight section so far. We've gone through quite a few, but they're all still pretty meh. Okay, so next I'm looping two highlighters together because they're from the same um, product family. These are from Becca, and these are the Light Chaser highlighters. I have Opal Flashes Jade and Pearl Flashes Gold. And these are really pretty, but they're like, this one's way too deep for me to use like in an everyday kind of basis. Pearl Flashes Gold is actually gorgeous. I need to pull this out and use this because that, that is gorgeous. Just, mm. I love how these are like minis. So they're smaller than the like normal size Becca highlighters. And I got these all on clearance. I bought these when Sephora was like marking them down to like $15 each. So I got them pretty cheap. But again, it's, it's a matter of how often am I reaching for these? Not that often. If I'm being totally honest, I probably don't need Opal Flashes Jade. I got this because it was green tinted, and uh, you know how much I like green, but that's kind of too dark for me to really use, at least to use enough to see the green tint to it, you know? Um, but I can use this one, and I should be using this one more, but I don't, and that's why they're down here. But I am glad I got them on sale. I do not think these would have been worth their full price, um, which it was like 30 something dollars, when like you can get the full size ones for around the same price. I was kind of shocked that these are originally like right around the same price. All right, next we are getting into highlighters that I like, <laughs> finally, right? I have this highlighter from Milani, and this is their Afterglow Strobe Light Highlighter in shade number one. It's a really bright, affordable highlight. Very pretty. I love the glow that it gives off right there, and I love the packaging, and I love how affordable this is. I got this at, like, CVS a while ago. I think I actually, like, decluttered this one and then undecluttered it because... Even though it's really nice and it's really affordable, I have this highlighter shade like in other palettes, in other highlighters. So if I like lost all my makeup and had to buy everything again like on a budget, this and like one other highlight would probably be my go-to's because they're affordable and they're big. Like, that's a lot of product right there. Like see how big it is compared to my face? A lot of product. So I like it. I think it's a good value. I think it's a good um, product. But I have some other ones I just like better. <laughs> so like it's this one is the first one where it's like it's down here not because it's not a good product but because I don't reach for it as often as other things. This is a really good highlighter. Next we have a highlighter that is newer to my collection and I got this also in a Try Beauty box. This is from Beauty Creations. This is the Annette 69 times Beauty Creation highlight and it's a really pretty like it looks like it's kind of dark but it blends out and just gives you a really nice glow. I do think the packaging's a little too chunky, but it is a baked highlight, so it does have that kind of domed effect to it. And if anything, I like chunky packaging that is like this, because this is easier to store than some other chunky packaging. Too faced. But this is actually a really good highlight. I don't know if I would have paid the full price for it, but getting this in a subscription box, I definitely like this better than a lot of other highlighters I've gotten in subscription boxes. Next, I have a single highlight from Davina, and this is the shade Rapture. This is just a really pretty, like, icy blue-white highlight that looks gorgeous if you pair it, like, as an inner corner highlight or a cheek highlight when you're wearing a nice blue eyeshadow look. It is gorgeous. I got this back when I was trying to buy more single shadows and single, um, 
blushes and highlights. I have another couple of single highlights in here, but I really like this. And the reason it's this far down is because it is very duochrome and very icy. Again, this isn't really something you can wear on an everyday basis. The next highlighter in this list is actually fairly close to this, but it's a lot cheaper and it is something you can wear like on a more daily basis. So even though I love this formula and I like how it looks, I'm not reaching for it that often because it is such a stark unique look. The next highlight that is kind of like a toned down version of that Davina highlight, this is from AOA Studio and this is the perfect pressed highlighter in the shade 202 Eris. I have two of these because the first one that came in came absolutely shattered so I repressed it right here and then they sent me another one that wasn't shattered. So let me go ahead and just swatch these two. The repressed one is a bit lighter than the not repressed one but it's just kind of like a toned down version of that Davina highlight. I love this highlight. I think you get a lot of product for only a dollar. They have a lot of shades of this as well. This is not even the lightest shade. I think they have a 201 and a 200. So there are lighter and there are darker shades in this formula. I really like this highlighter. <laughs> You know I love affordability, especially when it comes to like your base products, but highlighter is kind of one, other than eyeshadows, highlighter is kind of that one section where I will splurge a bit because I do love a nice fancy highlighter, but this is such a great highlighter and this is only a dollar. <laughs> It's amazing. I love a lot of what uh, Shop Mise has from their AOA Studio line, and I would really recommend if you have not tried out their highlighters, if you're on a budget, even if you're not on a budget, if you just want a good highlighter, check these out. Next, I have a highlighter from a brand that I've been slowly trying out because I do think a lot of, at least a lot of what you can get here in the States is a bit overpriced. But I tried this highlighter and I actually kind of really like it. This is from Pixie, and this is the Pixie by Petra Glowy Powder in Creamy Gold. I hope they have other shades of this. This is just kind of the only one that I saw when I placed my order, but this is a beautiful light gold highlight, and I really like the packaging. It's, it's very simple, but I love that it is like a screw top on like this. I like that it's a clear top, so you can really just see the highlighter right there, and... You get a lot of product. I have to say, I do say a lot of Pixie stuff is overpriced, at least where I am. But here, I think the price was actually worth it, even though this is pretty expensive. Because you look at all that product. That, that's a lot. <laughs> Especially for a highlighter. So I'm actually fairly impressed by this. I've been slowly trying to try more Pixie products, and I, I didn't want to just haul them all at once, because you could spend hundreds of dollars on Pixie. Like, Pixie's expensive. Pixie's the most expensive thing at Target. <laughs> so I, I'm really impressed by this highlight. So I really want to see if I can find a lighter shade. I don't know if they have lighter shades in this formula, but I'm very impressed. All right, next I have another individually packaged single highlight, and this is from Touch of Glam Beauty, which is a brand you can find on Etsy. And this is their highlighter in White Lies. It's very pretty, and even though it says White Lies, it is like a very gold tinted, it's almost like an eyeshadow, how like vibrant this is. Look at this. On deeper complexions that looks gorgeous and I picked it up because I picked out a couple of products from that Etsy store because I really wanted to try out some smaller brands and that highlighter shocked me if you go in with a fluffy brush and really blend it out then it will work for a complexion as light as mine but I really think this shines on deeper complexions and is gorgeous again this is really affordable I like the pan size it is a nice big size for a single highlighter like this and I was just really impressed by the quality of this. All right, next I'm gonna do a cop out and do like a four way tie uh, for all of my ABH glow kits. I am really sad that ABH has taken a nosedive in the last year and a half because they had some really great products, but it, it's, I do think Norvina is just like nose diving the company into the ground. Like if you've seen the stuff that's come out also about like their workplace culture and how like they look to astronomy, no, not even astronomy. <laughs> okay, go. Even a little bit more sense. They look towards astrology when making business deals. Like she refuses to sign a contract when Mercury is in retrograde. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway. ABH is on fire right now, but one thing, I mean, they they were known for like their brow products and their highlights. Their highlights are amazing. Like, ugh. I love their glow kits, which uh anyway, let's just talk about them. This is the Dream Glow Kit. 
I got this, I believe, at a TJ Maxx, so I did not pay full price for this one. These are gorgeous shades. These are colorful, but they're, at least these three, are subtle enough to wear on my complexion, like on a daily basis. I could get away with wearing those to work. These I cannot, but they're still really pretty. And what I also love bringing this out for is a nice inner corner highlight. Are you doing a blue look and you don't have a bright blue icy blue to use? Bam. Are you doing a green look? Do you want a really bright icy green on your lid or in your inner corner? Bam. Pink, same. Purples, here. Ah, I just, I really like this palette. And I do like that it is smaller than a lot of their other palettes. So if anything, I do think this one's a bit more utilitarian, but I, I love the shades in this one. Let's see, next, let's go to the sun. Oh, I missed a glow kit. I do have the sun, the sun dipped glow kit. I, I think I put that with my face palettes because I use it as a face palette and less as a, um, highlighter palette but that's my next favorite because that one's very uh useful in using it in different ways next i like these um sugar glow kit specifically this pinky shade it's called starburst starburst is really pretty and so is this bright white one marshmallow <sighs> these are gorgeous and again i could use this also kind of like a face palette this one's a nice purpley kind of shade and then this one's a like deeper brown kind of shade i could probably use that as like a bronzer but very pretty palette. Next, I bought into the hype and I did get the Nicole Guerrero glow kit. When it re-released, a friend of mine, uh, Victoria, she actually had an older version she bought off of like Poshmark and she really wanted to buy a new one for herself um, but couldn't justify keeping like another one so I bought this one off of Victoria. <laughs> and I have to say, I really just like the shade Forever Lit, that really bright white, I think it's gorgeous. And then Daydream, this really orangey kind of shade. So. I mean, I'm glad I have it, and I'm glad that I bought it secondhand, so I didn't pay full price for it. And then last but not least, we have the Dream Glow Kit. This one, okay, packaging, stunning, 10 out of 10. The formula of this one, I've noticed, is much chunkier and messier. Like, look at the palette. I try to clean this up, and there's, like, highlighter everywhere. I like the shades, particularly this shade, Wish, but it is a different formula. It feels different than the rest of these glow kits. So it's not my favorite, but I do like the option of these shades. They're really pretty in the packaging. Come on. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Again, I don't recommend getting any of these full price. <laughs> if anything, buy them off of like Depop or Poshmark or if you happen to see them at your TJ Maxx or your Marshalls because I do love these, but I think I've only bought one full priced and I think it was the Sugar Glow Kit. Uh, the rest, buy them secondhand. <laughs> But I have to say, I really do love the ABH highlighter formula, and I'm just really sad that ABH be acting so crazy. <laughs> Next, we have a highlighter that I have depotted, and this is a limited edition highlighter from Wet n Wild, and this is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in White Raven. This was from their Gothographic collection, which came out, I think, in 2018. This is a really pretty highlighter. I've also noticed I have a thing for, like, these duochrome white highlighters. I like five of them. <laughs> they just look really pretty. Uh, and this one's got like a kind of pinky shift to it. Can't see it too much. It's got like a pinky purpley shift to it right there. I, one, I love the Wet n Wild um, highlighting powder formula. It is hella affordable. It's probably around the same price, actually a little bit more expensive than the Shot Miss A formula, but this is one of the most um, accessible and affordable highlighter formulas, and it's a great formula. I love it. Second of all, I love that there's a skull in it. I... <laughs> You know me. You've seen my room. You know how many skulls I have in my room. I freaking love this. It's adorable. Um, so I did depot it because this did come in, uh, you know, the Wet n Wild plastic packaging. And I think I broke the lid off because it's pretty cheap because that's how they keep the product cheap. But I depotted this. You do have to put a magnet on the back. You can see because these are not um, magnetic. You have to add a magnet. But I, I really like this and I'm glad that I got it. And I have actually some more Wet n Wild highlighters further along in this list but I put this one down here mainly because I do love the formula but this was limited edition so you cannot get this highlighter anymore all right next we have a loose highlighter and again this is all the way down here I do like this highlighter a lot but this unfortunately is also no longer available this is from geek chic cosmetics they're currently on furlough I believe they're just shutting down as a company which is very unfortunate because I love a lot of their products but this is the moon tiara stardust highlighter so it is a sailor moon inspired highlighter it is very 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 shimmery it's right there in the middle it is a gorgeous highlighter and when you look at it in the uh, in the packaging it looks really dark and like silvery but when you blend it out it is just 
like ethereal it's the only way that i could say to describe that and there's so much product i will never use up all of this and this was like 10 bucks it was really affordable i love the packaging i love how much formula i get in here i'm just really sad that geek chic is closed down because by the time i finally got around to really using their products and appreciating their loose formulas they're not available anymore oh it hurts but not only is this a good highlight it is an amazing inner corner highlight for like your eyeshadow too it just it pops it looks gorgeous <sighs> next i have a deep potted highlighter from kylie cosmetics and this is the kylighter in the shade french vanilla i deep potted this because the packaging i'll throw a picture up right here the packaging was too chunky it was even bigger than this annette 69 it was like twice the size of this is how chunky that packaging was and i hated it <laughs> i hated the packaging I really wanted to try the highlighter more though so I depotted it out of the, all of that packaging and once I had it on its own in like a different palette I love this highlighter it is honestly it's gorgeous it just the shade is just so pretty the formula is actually really nice is it worth the price that she's charging eh, iffy but I actually really like this highlighter mm, it really makes me want to try out her like blushes and bronzers because i've only tried her highlighters for face products at least and her concealer i've never tried a bronzer or a blush i kind of want to try a blush so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but I, I actually was surprised by how much i liked this highlighter and how more accessible it was once i got it out of that chunky chunky packaging and on this one you don't need to add a, a magnet because these are magnetic on their own which is good <laughs> Next, also from Kylie Cosmetics, I have a palette from the Weather Collection. This is, the, I think it's just called the Weather Collection Highlighter Palette. Packaging's adorable. Did you hear that thunder? Holy shit, I think we're gonna get a storm tonight. Oh, I got it, that's the Weather Palette. <laughs> that's so stupid. Oh, okay. Stop laughing. Um, it's got a really nice big mirror, and then you've got these shades. The downside is that there's only one palette released, and th this is supposed to work for every skin tone. It does not work for every skin tone. I can use each one of these shades. So it's not for every skin tone. But I actually, I really like the Kylighter formula. I don't know what it is. They're creamy, they're blendable, they're smooth. I just want to see more shades. And like this one, like this works great for me, but I have to think more about my subscribers about what other people could use because while i could use this as like a very light bronzer a blush and a highlight for other people this is probably chalk so i have to say for me i liked this palette it was i believe it was limited edition so it's no longer available but i do believe in her original highlighter there are a lot more shades if anything i'll double check and throw a picture up of the shade range don't drop it the shade range for the original highlighter line oh my god i'm hearing just the thunder go nuts i have to hurry i'm gonna try and hurry this up we have five highlighters left five coming in at number five again i'm kind of copping out this is a palette this is the mega glow highlighting palette from wet and wild and this palette is just gorgeous i love this formula i've already waxed poetic about how great this formula is and how affordable it is i got this on sale at ulta so it wasn't even the full 14.99 but you get all of these highlighters and again for someone with my complexion i can use this as like a bronzer or a very very light well very very light bronzer or a contour and then these i could use as either blushes or highlights this formula is just gorgeous and bright and i actually really like this packaging this is very very sleek thin gorgeous packaging from wet and wild just a plus on the product a plus on the packaging and amazing at the price point and even though it is only $14.99, I would say wait for a sale. Ulta always has sales. You can save up your points. You can use your points to get extra dollars off. I just think this is so great. And I love their affordable formula. Next, another great affordable highlighter that was very hyped on YouTube. Now it wasn't hyped as much, but it still should be. This is from Essence, and this is the Pure Nude Highlighter. This is the perfect, very light, like almost no highlighter highlighter. You can barely see it, but when you actually apply it, you just get like that lit from within glow it just looks natural it doesn't look like you're wearing highlighter it's so pretty it's so affordable and this is like a baked product you see all the product i'm never going to use this up i don't think i'm ever going to hit pan in this <laughs> but it's gorgeous and it's affordable and i really like it the thunder is going to have to chill coming in at number three is one of my luxury highlighters and one i think it's probably my only luxury highlighter actually thinking about it this is from dior and this is the Dior Nude Skin Luminizer in the shade 01. And I actually have hit pan in this. I used this in a project pan I did last year. And this is the gorgeous highlight. I bought this like on impulse when I was in Sephora one day. 
but it's so pretty <laughs> and it's Dior oh it's so pretty is it expensive yes I just feel fancy whenever I use this and I love keeping like the little pouch and I like open it up and I've got my fancy little Dior compact uh, probably could have waited and gotten if it went on sale or saved up some points or something but I'm really glad I have this it is one of my only luxury uh, like highlighter products I have other affordable products that I can use definitely but this was a special splurge for me and I really enjoy this highlighter coming in at a very 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 close number two and it just started raining so I apologize if you can hear the rain coming in at number two is my limited edition Becca highlighter and it still has a thingy in it because this is my backup this is the royal glow highlighter and as you can see this one is brand new because this is my backup it's the only highlighter that I still have and have not finished using up let me actually grab the one I'm using right now so this is the one that I'm using right now I've hit a decent amount of pan in it and here's my backup it's the only highlighter I've ever bought a backup of <laughs> because I love this highlighter so much and it was limited edition I believe now you cannot get it anymore I got this I believe I had to go on um, HSN I think because I also think this is really only available in uh, the UK but <laughs> oh, I love this highlighter I haven't used it too much recently um, and I am lighter than I was so it might be a little dark no I can blend that out yeah if you blend it out it doesn't look as bad um, but I love this highlighter, man. This formula is amazing. I love the um, crown <laughs> imprint on it, and I love the uh, the silver packaging. So this is a bit different. I think they've come out with a couple of other highlighters in this packaging, but the packaging is stunning. Like, oh, these should be on the display. They should be on display. They're gorgeous. I love this highlighter. If you've been around on my channel, for, let me know down below if you remember when I talked about this highlighter, like every video. I love this highlighter so much but it's not quite number one so I think a lot of people would probably expect that Becca one to be number one but my number one highlighter the one that I have like the most attachment to and really like is from Physicians Formula and this is the natural nude shimmer brick so it looks like this I have actually panned um, only half of the palette. So what I did, the first one of these that I had, I depotted it because this packaging is pretty chunky and it is kind of annoying. I depotted it and then what I did is I took the top two rows and I repressed them into a highlighter pan that I made on my own and I panned that entire thing. But I didn't pan the whole highlighter palette or the whole thing because I couldn't use these bottom shades. I actually broke them kind of badly <laughs> and I tried repressing them but they didn't repress as well as like the top row. So unfortunately that was a bit of a loss but i was able to use the top row and they're just so pretty and then you can use the bottom row either for eyeshadow or if you're deeper um as an actual highlight there as well you can also if you're a medium complexion you can just swirl over, over everything and mix them all together uh i just remember this being one of the first highlights i ever could afford now this isn't cheap for, like cheap cheap from the drugstore this is probably around 14 15 dollars but when I was looking, um, back when I first started watching YouTube, I was obsessed with drugstore makeup starter kit videos. And this was always mentioned because it is multitasking. Not only do you have some highlights, you can use this as eyeshadows, you can use this as um, bronzer or as contour if your complexion allows. And everyone just raved about how great this was as a highlighter and specifically Taylor Wynn I remember her mentioning this and I was like I need to get it so this was one of the first if not the first highlighter I ever bought and I remember having this on my tiny little vanity back when my makeup collection was this big <laughs> and I rebought it so this is like the second one that I've had I just opened it up again um, and dug back in and I still loved it this really holds up I like that there's different shades in here and I think they have technically two actual shades of this this is probably the lighter one but and while I say the packaging is kind of chunky this is actually really adorable like little bow the packaging you do have a open on the back where it does give you like a little bit of a tutorial and then they give you these two brushes but I never use the brushes the mirror is actually a nice size mirror so that's actually pretty nice so I don't think I'm gonna depot this one I kind of want to keep it in the packaging so I could show you guys but this is my number one highlight oh I feel like I'm talking for an hour and <laughs> just about highlights 
but that is my highlighter collection ranked from least favorite to favorite. Let me know down below what your favorite highlighter is and if you have any of these highlighters that I just talked about in my collection. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. It's so loud. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna storm like now. <laughs>